Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in our last video, we unwrapped the scene and I have separated all the assets like this and applied a different material for every object. So now we have these four separate assets here. So first one is our ladder. The other one is the stairs, then the platform and this base. I'm going to select everything and then export it to Substance Painter for texturing. So I've already exported it as OBJ. Now let's go to Substance Painter and import our asset. I'm going to create a new scene and uh, leave the default settings resolution to 2K. Normal map format to OpenGL and just uncheck anything if it is checked here. So go to select and import your mesh. Click OK. So now we have our assets here. So let's go over the material sets first. So we have these four texture sets for each of the object group. So let's go to the settings and bake our mesh maps. Again, I'm going to take the output size 2K. Also, I'm going to use this as high poly. Uh, let's set the anti-aliasing to 4 by 4. And also, I'm going to increase the ambient occlusion rays so let's take it somewhere reasonable between i think 128 is fine and uh, make sure to click apply to all if you have more than one texture set and click on this bake selected texture so our maps are done let's click ok and uh, let's start working on this uh, base platform first so let's go to your texture set list and i'm going to select this base delete this empty layer and uh, go to your materials and i'll start with this iron rough drop it here Change the color, make it a little bit darker, something like this. And I'm also going to change the hue of this material, bring it to something like this, a little bit brownish. So now this looks much better. Also, you can change the roughness a little bit if it is too glossy. So let's change the roughness to 0 0.35. And you can change the size of these grunges here. So I think something like 11 or 10 should be fine so now let's uh, duplicate this layer and we're going to add some wear around the edges so i'm going to create a duplicate and change the color make it a little bit lighter something like this right click add a black mask and uh, add a generator and select this uh, metal edge wear so as you can see that uh, there is some subtle damage around the edges so increase the contrast to make it a little bit more sharper also decrease the level
so this looks much better now what you can do is you can also add some scratches into this texture so let's do that take a new fill layer and uh, add a black mask then add another fill here search for scratches and i'm going to select this grunge scratch it off now let's turn off the color metal and normal so to add some depth into these scratches just decrease the height value something like this also you can increase the roughness a little bit something like this uh, let's go to the scratches and you can turn down the balance if you want less scratches in your texture so i think some damages like this maybe a little bit more tiling here so you can increase the tiling like this and uh, maybe decrease the quantity something like this so if it looks uh, too deep what you can do is you can go back and just increase the height value something like this and also let's turn down the opacity a little bit now let's add some more detailing here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a new fill layer uh let's add a black mask and uh, add another fill and uh, let's go to your uh, procedural textures here and uh, let's find something like this I think this should be fine so drop it here and I'm going to increase the tiling let's do it like 100 and we need to add some height detail here so let's go back turn off color normal and increase the height like this I think 0. 5 or 0.3 should be fine increase the metalness decrease the roughness or what you can do is you can just turn these channels off only work on the height as you can see the weird sharpness around these details so what you can do is you can right click here add a filter and we are going to use the blur filter here just add a little bit of blur so this is too much let's change it to 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 now we want these details only on this plane here not on the entire mesh so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to select this put this in a group rename it as details add a black mask go to polygon fill set it to this polygon fill and select this part only and now our texture is only on this plane now you can always go back to this folder and you can change the details if you want i think a height value of 0 0.15 should be better match for something like this now let's 
add some dirt or rust on this model so let's go to your materials and i'm going to select this rust fine this time drop it in the layers and let's change the color a little bit make it a little darker also i'm going to change the, the tiling to something like this turn turn on the normal right click add a black mask add a generator and we're going to use the dirt generator for this and i think the default value looks great for this but i'm going to increase the contrast and turn down the balance just a little bit or maybe 0 0.75 looks good if it looks too intense what you can do is you can just turn down the opacity just a little bit so i think this would be much better and now it looks good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat the same thing on this platform here so let's select everything and uh, put them in a group rename it as base material and let's copy this go to your texture set list go to platform and uh, let's try to paste it here now we obviously need to make some changes here so let's do that so what i'm going to do is uh, let's open this go to details and I'm going to remove the mask from the group and add it again go to polygon fill and again I'm going to select these polygons like this and it's done again let's go to the rust material of this platform and probably we can add a little bit more and i think this looks good uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the uh, base material of this and change it to tri planner and do the same with this one and rename it now let's again copy this or you can just copy the previous one and go to the ladder and i'm going to paste that group again here and i think it looks great on this ladder we just need to delete this detail we don't need to do anything here i guess so if you want to make any changes you can just go through all these layers and adjust it according to your need and at last i'm going to go to texture set list and work on these stairs so go here and paste your layers again only this time uh, we are going to need to add some detailing here so let's open this and first of all i'm going to turn down the rust here like this uh, also let's go to the detail and uh, I'm going to remove this texture here. I'm going to change it with something else. So let's scroll down and let's try this. Drop it here. Uh, 
remove the mask of this group add it again go to polygon fill and repeat the same thing so i'm going to select the upper plane of every step make sure your polygon fill is set to polygon fill mode not on the uv or the mesh fill otherwise it's going to select all the other faces of this asset and now we are good so let's open this and go here increase the tiling i think 16 is fine for this or you can also increase the tiling here if you want but i think let's make it 20 so this also looks good All right so this looks good and uh, let's go back to this layer and you can decrease the height if it is too intense and uh, go to the blur also turn it down a little bit So I think our Firescape model looks fine now. So this is the final result. So now let's export the textures and we're going to render this in Marmoset. So let's go to file, export textures. I'm going to export it as Targa and uh, in 4K padding set to dilation plus transparent and uh, export so that's it for today so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one